we don't have all the roof on. So we'll provide some light for these guys. So the uh, heavy duty uh, foundations being built for um, the machinery. This is the uh, rice polisher. There's a uh, hopper that goes on top of that. I took the rice in, ran it for a while, and uh, it supposedly polishes the rice, takes the husks off. Not sure where they go. Probably knew that if I looked around the other side. So there's uh, lines drawn out there for um, other bits of foundation. machine that's going to be coming would be really helpful to running up some concrete. And that's more than a month away I think at this stage. Work continues on making it pretty. That'll be the toilet door over there. Yep, lots of hard work still to be done. I know it's something creative for Santa's end table. Not sure I understand what, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. Well, this is. I guess I'll understand it when it's finished. And this morning it looks like the skin at the end of the uh, building. Or the beginning. Still not sure what's going to happen with that end gable to fill that in, but I'm sure I'll learn in time. Still tidying up the, uh, the concrete for the pillars. And by the look of how dark it is inside, I'd say uh, they've got the rest of that roof on. Let's go and have a look. Well, three substantial foundations are in. Fourth one's under construction. Yeah. Yeah, one piece of the has come down already. No idea what that is. I'm sure I'll learn in time. Adjustment switch of wind. Okay, so it's some kind of. Uh, we know why. Yeah, I'm sure I'll more, learn more later. Work on the carport skilling continues, as does the refining of the uh, surface finish from the outside. It's going to be very pretty when that's finished. Don't know whether it's going to get a coat of paint or not. Could well do. Another thing I'll find out. As it happens, it looks like there's uh, stuff being mounted on the uh, new foundations inside. Let's go and have a look. It looks like one of the foundations is being reconsidered. So, my guess would be the motor on the one on the back right, the rice polisher on the one closest to us, that white thing on closest to that. Not quite sure what the fourth one's for, but obviously they're planning to do something. Again, I'll find out when it happens. Interesting process for me. Not sure what's happening with the, uh, the sheets here. I'm kind of thinking 
Are they going to put a uh, ceiling in? Because that would be one way of keeping the birds out. But, uh, they've got the birds. So I'll be up there aiming to keep the birds out. I guess I'll understand it when I see it, maybe. Yeah, I understand. That was just a scaffolding at the end of Santa's house so that they could uh, stand on that to put on a cement sheet. That's clear now. Okay, the uh, skillion over the carport looks like that's been completed. I'm now working on the uh, front veranda. Front porch, whatever you want to call it. Looks like they've concreted the uh, the ground in that front section there. So I'll have to go through the side door and see what can be walked on. And there's a guy working on putting on the door, the door on the toilet by the look of it. Oh, somebody just walked across that front concrete, so apparently it's still okay. And <laughs> Dad Ag's working on getting the solar pump to pump water into the smaller of the two tubs beside the thing here. Look at like it was doing a trickle. Yes, it's doing a trickle. So let's go and have a look closer. Freshly laid concrete inside. There's a path across it so they can. Uh, Off here now. Oh, Duffer grandson has walked past. Um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what happens, of course. <laughs> and we've just about reached the top stage of time and we uh, we'll pull it also. And there's a pond out the back that's got piles and it can't be soaking. And I gather they do that to uh, make them stick better. A little bit here. Okay, interesting structure on the front of the carport. Um, I didn't end up using the bit of uh, Rio that was sticking up from that corner column. But, uh, Roofing continues, and there's work going on inside. Uh, not quite sure what the status of the toilet is. Going on the back. Camera's okay in here. It's a bit dark for me, but uh, this is the inside of the toilet. So there's going to be a tub here with the uh, water in it, and uh, the bottom is a bit of toilet. And there we go. Not quite sure the purpose of uh, Asra's pond out the back here, other than uh, growing some fish and some uh, nice flowers. It's probably some invasive weed, but uh, not clear to me what at all is happening there. Let's see, uh, the tank connects up okay, so I'm assuming that this is going to end up with uh, coming up to ground level. Ground level at the bottom of that wing beam. Eventually. But, as usual, I'll understand it when it happens, maybe. Use. One of those that folds out to be a long one or can be a normal A type one. But, uh, that's getting a lot of use, as is my impact driver up there. Inside. Concrete sets are all over here now, although somebody made a mistake. Apparently. And 
putting wooden mounts underneath the uh, machinery onto the concrete blocks. And they needed a big drill, drill to drill through wood, so uh, I dug out the uh, Dug out the um, tuck with an SDS uh, shaft on it. So actually you put that in the SDS type drill to put uh, normal bits in. And I had uh, a large drill bit and bolts left over from uh, constructing garden beds in Tullamarine. So I just brought these down here before. So, uh, there's a box down there. No box down there. Bolt nuts and washing. And a nice uh, ratchet spanner. Hit that concrete. Hit that concrete. I hit that with my uh, drill bit. I won't be happy. Go back to my own project. There's things I haven't been uh, videoing. We hung the 75 inch TV on the wall in the lounge room the other day, and I've got a whole lot of stuff in there that's uh, ready to be set up. But I really can't do a lot with it until we get electricity. Roof pop solar. Um, I've hung the 55 inch TV in the main kitchen yesterday. And I'm constru I constructed a shelf for that for underneath for the media PC and DVD player and satellite receiver box. But um, I need to protect the underside of it to remove all the sharp corners because it's going to be at a height where small children could uh, get head injuries. So I'm, gonna, I'm rounding everything off and actually making a wooden cover for some metal brackets. Eventually there will be no sharp corners. There we go. So I'll go back and do that now. There we are, another day. Still constructing on the top of that uh, carport addendum. I have a ladder tall enough for that, but it's too heavy for them to worry about, I think. I'm just going to go and find out what's happening inside now. Well, the story is, there's going to be ceramics on the floor, tiles on the floor, before that ledge. After that, it's just concrete like the wall. Uh, not sure what's happening in the back section there. I'll find it out later, I'm sure. That machine there, that spout to the right blows something out with wind. So that will continue at, through a hole in the wall into the backyard apparently. Not clear what that's about, but again, I think this is the rice polisher because it says it's a rice polisher. So that one's either a winnower 
to get rid of all the rubbish out of the rice or it's a uh, flour grinder. Not sure. I don't know why a flour grinder would have lots and lots of wind blowing through it, so it might be a winner. But again, I'll find out in the future. So there's a big motor, the 23 horsepower one for this thing. Then there's a smaller motor to drive that thing. charge up my uh, laser level see if that's useful to them here there we are another day with another downpour overnight busily making use of my tools again there's my level up there because they managed to bugger up their own hope they don't bugger up mine uh, tiling going on I'll go around that side door and have a look. Uh, the Herculean effort has been made and this, a smaller motor has been carried down and the big motor. This is the 200 round one. So I managed to get them both down here this morning. And now they're fitting up uh, pulleys and uh, I have to worry about alignment of belts and so forth I guess. Uh, looks like that uh, corner there there is a uh, brick concrete uh, tank going to be constructed. There's a put walls up there and an overflow drain presumably. And uh, a nice concrete area which is going to remain concrete and the tile area which will be all of this area. So I'd better get out of here before I mess it up. But they look like they're nice non-slip tiles, which is good because I don't like slippery tiles. We seem to excel at those at home where you get them wet and you're in danger. These look like they might have some texture and attraction, which is good. Oh, well, I'll go back to do what I was doing. I was, uh, I'm hanging another TV. That's the uh, 43 inch TV I managed to hang on the wall in the uh, back kitchen. Uh, there's no nearby power point at all so we can't really do much with it until work that's currently expected to happen in June. Uh, also need to see about getting a satellite receiver box for it and an antenna so that they can watch TV and the free to air here is not available <laughs> here unless you have a satellite um, when I get that box I'll know how big to build the shelf underneath the TV to put that on currently it's just a little uh, DVD Blu-ray player which uh, will also go on the shelf so that's the third TV I'll hang on the wall. I'll show you the second. That's the 55 inch Aldi TV on the wall between the uh, guest bedroom and Bendy's bedroom. This is the kitchen I'm standing in. You can still see we're in a state of disarray from all the stuff that come in the containers. Uh, it's going to take quite some time yet to get all this sorted out. But we're slowly getting there. Uh, I think the next project is to take the dishwasher out of its packaging and slide it into the slot under the sink where it's supposed to go. And again, uh, won't actually be able to do anything with it until we get the electrical work done in June. But, one step at a time. It's later in the day and work continues in setting up the uh, motor. here last they were just putting that uh, pulley on the motor. Now we even have a belt. <laughs> and the tiling is going ahead at the rates. Right. 
Finishing of the concrete uh, surface over there to make it nice and smooth without being piled. I think I probably should uh, take this back and add it, add it to my collection of uh, videos and it will down to something that could be uh, uploaded. <laughs> 